Discover the captivating journey of BMW, from its humble beginnings as an aircraft engine manufacturer to becoming a trailblazing name in the automotive world. Join us as we delve into the remarkable history of this elite brand and witness its rise to prominence. If you find this story as intriguing as we do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with more fascinating tales of automotive excellence. The story of BMW, which is now an elite automotive brand, begins with Carl Friedrich Rapp, a young mechanical engineer hailing from Hingian, a southwestern part of Germany. Although not initially destined for greatness, Rapp's engineering expertise would later play a pivotal role in the company's success. In his early career, he worked as a technical designer for Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft, which would eventually merge to become Mercedes-Benz. However, Rapp's aspirations went beyond being a mere employee, and he eventually left Daimler to lead a company called Flugwerk Deutschland. At Flugwerk Deutschland, Rapp delved into the aircraft industry, overseeing the manufacturing of engines and machinery. Unfortunately, the company faced financial challenges and was dissolved. Undeterred, Rapp managed to raise 200,000 Reichsmark and established his own enterprise in 1913, which he named Rapp Motor and Werke. Surprisingly, he set up this new venture on the same property as his former employer. Rapp Motor and Werke experienced rapid growth, and within just two years, the company employed 370 workers. The timing was favorable, as World War I began, and Rapp's company was well positioned to thrive by providing aircraft engines for the German forces. However, the engines faced issues that made them unreliable, and Rapp's competitor Gustav Otto saw his business flourish during the war. Despite the setback, Rapp Motor and Werke received a lifeline when the Prussian army, in desperate need of engines, placed a significant order of 600 units from Rapp. This saved the company from collapse, but the sale came with conditions. Franz Joseph Popp, a former Daimler worker with an impressive resume, was sent to the company as a representative for the Austrian Navy. Popp, in reality, had other intentions, to take over the company. Chapter 2, A New Direction and the Birth of BMW. Pop's arrival marked a turning point for Rapp Motor and Werke. He was sent to ensure quality control for the large army order, and he was shocked to find the lack of management causing chaos in the company. Instead of merely overseeing quality control, Pop took charge and gained the trust of the managing board. He swiftly hired a team of talented engineers that would become the driving force behind the company's success. This upheaval resulted in Carl Rapp's ousting from his position, and he moved to an engineering firm in California. Pop saw the vast potential of the facilities and decided to rename the company Bayerische Motorenwerke BMW, in 1917, meaning Bavarian Engine Works Company. The logo, a checkered white and blue design, paid homage to the flag of Bavaria but complied with trademark regulations. BMW's journey to greatness would require significant effort and investment. Luckily, the struggling business caught the attention of Camilo Castiglione, a prominent businessman. With a fresh injection of capital, BMW was now ready to produce its first vehicle, the BMW 3A, a straight-six aircraft engine that laid the blueprint for the brand's future designs. However, the demand for aircraft engines plummeted after World War I due to restrictions imposed by the Treaty of Versailles. To survive, BMW had to pivot its focus to produce railway brakes, motorcycle engines, and farm equipment. In 1922, BMW merged its operations with other smaller manufacturing companies, strengthening its position. Chapter 3. Breaking into the automobile market. The 1920s saw BMW make significant strides in the automobile market. They released the BMW 315 DA2, signaling their entry into the commercial vehicle market. This model showcased BMW's engineering capabilities and positioned the company as a serious player in the automotive industry. The late 1930s brought about models like the BMW 327, which helped solidify BMW's reputation for making powerful and competitive touring cars. Pop consolidated the company by acquiring smaller manufacturing firms, including an American company, allowing them to circumvent the restrictions imposed by the Treaty of Versailles and restart aircraft engine production. However, as World War II approached, Pop was cautious about heavily investing in aircraft production, fearing it might compromise BMW's autonomy and lead to financial ruin. The Nazi regime removed Pop from his position, leaving BMW as a shell of its former self, heavily reliant on government contracts and war efforts. After World War II, the Soviet forces took over the BMW factory in Eisenhacht and used the BMW logo to produce their own cars. This period highlighted the value of the BMW name. 
1951, BMW emerged from the aftermath of war and released the BMW 501, a large luxury car showcasing cutting-edge technology. This marked the beginning of BMW's resurgence. Chapter 4, The Struggle and Revival. In the 1950s, BMW faced fierce competition from Volkswagen, a Nazi-funded company that had become a symbol of post-war Germany. To survive, BMW needed to change its direction rapidly. The BMW 507, though iconic, proved too expensive for the market, leading the company to the brink of bankruptcy. With a fresh injection of capital from the Quant family, BMW released the 700 series in 1959. The 700 series proved to be a hit in the commercial market, rescuing BMW from bankruptcy. This success was followed by the BMW 1500 series, known as the New Class, which further solidified BMW's financial stability. Chapter 5, Embracing Sporting Routes and Motorsports. Throughout the 1970s, BMW established itself as a luxury and functional automobile maker. It competed with Volkswagen and expanded its portfolio with successful models like the 5 Series, 3 Series, 6 Series, and 7 Series. To further distinguish itself and increase brand recognition, BMW entered the world of motorsports. The creation of the M1 model marked the birth of the BMW M division, dedicated to producing high-performance cars. The M1's success in motorsports and BMW's own championship solidified its position as a leader in sports car innovation. Chapter 6 staying ahead and pushing the envelope. BMW's ability to adapt and stay ahead of the competition has been instrumental in its success. In the 1990s, BMW released the iconic E30 M3, which garnered widespread acclaim and set the stage for future models. The company's continued commitment to innovation allowed it to lead in hybrid technology and establish its i-series. Today, BMW remains a favorite among car enthusiasts, balancing cutting-edge engineering with its trademark style. It continues to push the boundaries in the automotive world and enjoys a strong global presence. BMW's resilience and ability to reinvent itself have secured its position as one of the most esteemed and iconic brands in history. We hope you enjoyed this enthralling account of BMW's extraordinary evolution. From aircraft engines to groundbreaking automobiles, BMW's legacy is a testament to innovation and determination. If you love this narrative and want more inspiring stories, like, share, and subscribe to our channel to be part of our vibrant community. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and we look forward to